Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to display, I mean, how to work with the request dispatcher in Servnet. See, request dispatcher means what? Is used to dispatch the request either from one servlet to another servlet or one servlet to JSP file or we can forward the control to any other file like HTML. I'll explain one example so that you will get more clarity on this. What is request dispatcher and how to do it? Suppose I want to take login details from the user and this is a login form. Login form and here we are expecting the input for enter your username enter your username and enter your password. I'm just creating the simple normal, normal login form. And here it is just one login button. Suppose if they enter a valid login details, if they enter a valid login details, okay. So then we will move the cursor to a welcome page or any other page. Suppose if the details are invalid, not matches, then we need to give one message. We need to give one message. For example, invalid username or password. Invalid username or password and the same login page, the same login page, I want to display here. Do we need to write the logic once again? No. We are just including this file in this one. Just include what we need to include, that login file we are including. So suppose if the information is correct, on success, on success, we are just, we are just giving that information, I mean, forward to like welcome.html file. Welcome.html file. The, that is the success case. And this is the failure case. So this is my requirement. For that, we need to write the code. Right? First one is a login.html file we need to create. I'm creating that dynamic web project in the Eclipse workspace. Project name is just login. Project name, I'm giving that login. Let's make it finish, it is created. I'm creating the two HTML files. The first HTML file, the first HTML file I'm creating First HTML file, I'm creating that login.html file only. HTML file I'm taking. Login data.html file. Any name you can give. Just finish it. In this one, I'm just writing the code for login details. I'm not writing anything inside the head location directly. I'm writing the code in body. Just the form tag I'm creating form tag inside that login enter uh, just if you want to give that h3 is a login form i'm creating this login form in this one enter enter username enter username input type equals to text Input type equals to text and what is the name? Just I'm giving user. And next one is a break. Next one is a break. Enter password. Enter password. Input type equals to. You can use that password. The name equals to pass. And this is a break. And next one is input. Submit button type equals to submit. Value equals to the value which is displayed on the login page is login. Like this we are giving. This is the one. 
next one one more file i am creating next one more file i am creating so what is that in this one one more html file that is welcome html file welcome html file that is a simple one again i am doing in the body in the body just here it is a h1 tag welcome welcome to all if you want to apply any style just inline styles i am giving style equals to color is a with a blue color with a blue color i am just giving that information and just this message will display this message will display that is the one color blue attribute style close welcome to all that is enough with the style i am giving now okay login data we created and welcome html file now inside go to the source go to the source and create that create the page servlet page i am not giving any package name just class name i am giving that login servlet i am giving finish it the same thing we need to specify here login action is a login servlet and what is the method simply get i am taking in login servlet so many errors we are getting because we know what is the reason constructor is not required we are just maintaining only do get with empty body everything other other things we are removing we are just maintaining that do get and just with empty body just with empty body now we need to build path for servlet api.jar we know already we discussed that how to add the external jars just servlet api.jar file which is belongs to tomcat folder that we are adding then all errors will be removed now just writing the code the information we are collecting from request dispatcher spring the name what they entered request dot get parameter the name you have given there sorry user you have given there user we collect into the same one also just user okay and the next one is the string password is equal to request dot request dot get parameter get parameter pass the same thing now the question is once you get the information if the username equals to strings we are comparing so equals method we need to use equals to suppose amar and the password equals to suppose 1 2 3 4 i have given on success case and if fail on failure case on failure case if it is success then request dot get request dispatcher get request dispatcher we need to get the dispatcher object by passing to where you need to dispatch sir i am dispatching to welcome server i mean welcome HTML file. Welcome HTML file. Just getting that request dispatcher object RD equals to. I'm just importing that request dispatcher. So once it is ready, request dispatcher on success, we need to forward RE dot RD dot forward method. Just request and response, the same thing we forward. So, for example, right, if they fail in giving the values Amar and 1, 2, 3, 4, then we need to include. So, what we need to include the same file 
login data.html file we include but before include we are giving one message on the screen print writer out equals to i'm just giving the response response.get writer response.get writer out dot print ln a small message we are giving that p p message is invalid user user and password invalid user and password that is in this one i'm just giving the color style attribute style attribute color is a red color and green so this is the code I have written. So what will happen when I execute this code? With execution, I'll show you the output. Just run on server. When you finish it, when you finish it, whenever, if you are giving the wrong details, consider. I'm not giving the details what we are expecting. Here it is, a, just I'm giving that Annie. It's a login form, Annie. And the password is one, two, three, four. I have given click on login. Is observed clearly. Login. Look at this. It is giving invalid user or password. Invalid user or password. Then the same login form it is showing here. It is taking the default data. So don't worry because I have saved some details login form it is showing this is what including the html form including the html form that is so suppose if i am giving the name correctly what they are expecting then login look at this look at this it is moving to that welcome file welcome.html it is showing that welcome to all. Welcome to all it is showing. Now hope you understood. If they enter the details exactly what we are expecting. Of course, we need to collect the data from the database that we will discuss in the coming videos. If they enter login details correctly, we forward to welcome.html. If they enter wrong details, we are not forwarding. We are just giving the simple information, simple message first and followed by the same file we are including. Hope you understood. Please follow the video and practice the same question. Write the login dot data HTML. Next, welcome HTML file. When they click on the submit button, Right, write the login servlet code, get the information. Right, if the given input is correct, then dispatch to welcome.html. If input is wrong, by giving the invalid user, include the login.html. That is, okay. This is just how to do. Please practice the same thing. Thank you.